Okay, so um, I came into work and the last, I don't know, the last few months I've been coming in and thinking, man, I really need a printer that can print bigger things than just eight and a half by 11 sheets. And it just so happened that I had been given some years ago a wide format printer that's an old HP. And um, it's a really old HP. This thing is probably 30 years old. And um, <clears throat> it was made for Windows 98, I think it was. Um, so uh, I got some cartridges for it not long ago. And um, I dug it out of my shed. And I took out the old cartridges and I put the new cartridges in. And these, these cartridges technically were not new by any means whatsoever. In fact, the expiration dates, uh, I think, were uh, 99 and 2003. I think were the expiration dates on them, um, but, but we, I took them out of the box, put them in the printer, worked perfectly. So, um, so I did a maintenance on the printer, cleaned it all up, um, got everything operating the way it was supposed to be operating, brought it to the store, and attempted to connect it to my computer. And lo and behold, my main computer, I don't know why I did this, I installed it as Windows 10 64-bit version. Well, when I tried to connect this printer up to it, which is an old, this is a parallel port printer. This does not use USB and it's not wireless. So you have to use either a parallel to USB adapter or straight parallel. Well, this computer does not have parallel in it, so I was trying to use the adapter. Well, it would recognize that the adapter was there, but it wouldn't recognize a printer attached to it. So I decided to do some research on it and find out what's going on. Well, as it turns out, they don't have a driver for this printer to work on the 64-bit versions. So, <clears throat> I did do some searching around, and Microsoft did have a version that was supposed to be 64-bit compatible for this printer to make it work with Windows 10. It was actually made for Windows 8.1, but I downloaded everything and tried to install it, and it just it kept saying that it wouldn't take it because it wasn't 64-bit. So I was trying to figure out what to do, so I walked up to the front of our store, and at the front of our store we have this little computer here. Now, this is a custom-built computer that I built myself, and uh, it's been a great computer. Uh, but on the back side of it, it has, back here, a parallel port, and you can see it's this one right here where this cable's plugged in. And I thought, well, okay, well, let's plug this old printer into it. So, here is the printer. This is a wide format printer. It does 13 by 19 sheets in it, in its largest size. So, which is pretty good size. That's the size that we need. And you can see by the test sheet there that I've got it working already. But, when I come over to this computer and I plug it in and I turn it on, it immediately finds the printer and immediately installs it. And that's because this particular computer has Windows 10 on it, 32-bit version. So, what I've learned from this, and I've learned from several other issues um, over the last couple of months, is if you want to be able to use your old software or an old printer, make sure that your computer has Windows 10 32-bit installed on it, because it is more likely to be able to work. Now, here's the other thing. Even if you don't have the correct driver for this, if you don't have a driver for Windows 10, uh, if it's the 32-bit version of Windows 10, we can oftentimes fudge it to use the Windows 7 version of these drivers. And there, were, there was a Windows 7 version for this printer as well, so I could have gone to that one and used it, but fortunately, the driver was already there when I plugged it in. It, it immediately installed it on its own. So, <clears throat> Lesson learned, um, but if you have an old piece of equipment, be it a scanner or a printer or whatever, that you want to be able to keep and use with your newer computer, you don't want to throw it out because you know it's a still good piece of, of equipment, um, come holler at me because we may still be able to make it to where you can use that old piece of equipment with your new computer. So um, we may just need to redo the computer to Windows 32-bit and uh, install the proper driver for it to get it to work. So, it just goes to show you that old doesn't mean that it doesn't work. And um, it's it can still do the job that you want it to do and it can still function well. And um, we've had a couple of other clients that we've done this with here just recently 
and uh, I like nothing better than to see old equipment not thrown away because it's still functional and still working. But anyway, that's me, and this is my job and my project for the week. Finishing up my week with something weird like this. So anyway, have a good day. Hope you enjoyed the video.